Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your weekly mystic for June the 24th through June the 30th of 2024. Yes, we're already closing out on our six-month energy and closing into the next half of the year. And we just had summer solstice, so summer is in full full gear as we move forward. Remember, this is our collective energy. This is a forecast for Monday through the weekend energy of the dates I gave earlier. They're also listed on the banner at the top of reading. Many, many, many things can be going on for different people. So as this is collective, please visit my website, royalmystic.com, should you require a private reading. I'll be looking forward to working with you. So here we go in the energy and see what the week starts with and very very nice the judgment card this is the energy of resurrection something that you thought was not going to be possible or that just totally is off your radar shows back up with the wonderful restoration energy of this judgment card this is archangel gabriel blowing the horn of triumphantness and returning something back to the fold or something coming back around for you to be able to stand in that energy and be in victory because here's the six of wands that means the long fought battle you are now in the energy of victory of that long fought battle you're in head and shoulders above the rest absolutely in a ticker tape parade according to this card so the restoration and, and rejuvenation energy coming in and putting you back in the victory seat so hallelujah we love that energy let's see what else we have thank you angels archangels divine pure white light divine spirit we have the three of pentacles this is telling you make sure that you put the value in in other words don't embellish anything past uh, what your real uh, capabilities are because the value that comes back to you the return of that abundance that you put out the energy for is going to be double the value you put in so put in a hundred percent so that you get 200 percent back divine spirit spirit guides gods and goddesses thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun moon and rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path we thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance, as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very, very appreciated. So, we have the start. You saw it volunteer itself for Monday. There's the death card. Tuesday is the Capricorn Devil card, which is not necessarily a, a, a negative thing, so we'll talk about that. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, Sunday energy. With the King of Cups as the underlier. The King of Cups is water sign energy, so it can represent someone who is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but... It can be any sign that has a, the authentic energy of wanting to assist and bring you to your highest good or to help you stand in that frequency of success. So, very solid start. Let's see what our clarifiers bring. We're going to start off with, hey, we like the Queen, Queen of Pentacles. This is the energy of being very much in the flow of financial security. New money coming in and in hand. So, it's not like it's somewhere that you can't get to it. Is readily available. So this queen also represents uh, earth sign energy. So Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, which is right there. So let's see what we've got going on. Uh, hello, High Priestess. The cards are really active today. Just a, just a moving. They're telling me two more. And one more. And there we have it. Tuesday, Wednesday, that was Monday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and the underlier for the clarifiers is this bonus card. This is one of the two bonus cards that come in this Hanson Roberts deck. It is to all believers, which means as you believe, so shall it be done unto you. I know you've heard it somewhere. It's in every single uh, religion that I'm aware of that, it, that is the belief factor 
has to be there. And what you believe for is what you attract and experience. So believe for your best possible outcome. That's where you want to start, right? Start, start at the high note, not the low note. Now, a lot of people are going through, th you know, we always have moments where we're going through things, but this is collectively, a lot of people are feeling some pressure and uh, whether it's financially or relationships or whatever, ultimately we have to be able to trust that the universe has our back and is conspiring in our favor. So every time I get myself painted into a corner for something, I stand in the energy of, I trust the universe. I trust myself. And my higher self is always present to help me and guide me and give me intuition. Now look, this little angel is pointing the way for her and she's got to be aware to trust the guidance, even if it's telling you to go a different direction than what you expect. Trust the guidance. I had to do that just to be able, I don't know why I just did that. I had to do that just to be able to do this. Let me get to that card. Where's it at? Trust is here somewhere. Because I didn't shuffle it yet. There it is. Okay. I set my intention and trust in my abilities to improve my circumstances. This is absolutely where we have to be. You've got to 100% trust that the universe is conspiring in your favor and allow yourself to move in that energy. I'm just putting the cards back that I just shuffled. And flexibility is important because that's where when she's being told a, a direction that's other than what she thinks she's supposed to go, you have to be able to think on your feet and be able to be flexible when it's time to shift because not everything goes as scripted, right? That's the old saying, make plans so that you can make the universe laugh, right? <laughs> so I am flexible and adaptable to change while I pursue my ambitions. So there you go. When you're shown a different way, sometimes we get rerouted. And if we don't follow that, then we can be stuck behind some, some stagnant energy or a block. So be able to be flexible and maneuver and, and always look for that guidance from divine. I'm always in that energy of, okay, let me check in and tap it, tap that energy and see what happens. Oh, Kunzite. We love some Kunzite. This is one of the first uh, crystals that I spent a little bit of cashola on. And it was before I even became royal mystic um this is the kunzite that i bought at a at a at a the witchery where i worked for a while doing readings uh, this is the clear pinkish color and you can see the minerals kind of stain the edges there kunzite is can be very expensive um one of my lovely vibe tribers sent me this lovely gift of a kunzite bracelet um, these are pretty large beads and i know that they cost a pretty penny but you can find them in the rough. And so just know that when you look at the price, if you're looking for a Kunzite energy, it's going to be a little pricey and you'll have to do your shopping wisely if you're, if you're trying to do it at a, in a feasible way or in a, in a way where you can afford it. So this one, I'm just going to give you a, an example. This one piece cost me $80. So I'm just, there you go. You can find it cheaper. You just have to do your due diligence. It's all about that vibrational harmony with yourself because that's where love begins. If you don't have the capability to radiate love within yourself, then you cannot radiate a love that can be adapted by anyone else. So if you've got two people who are incapable of feeling kindness and compassion genuinely about even their own life, how in the world are you going to use that for anyone else? And if you do use it for someone else and not yourself, then you're going to run out very quickly. You have to understand that's you're the you're the source. You're the well from which it is it being brought up into this existence. So create a beautiful loving energy for yourself and allow yourself those times. Don't skip your own beautiful nurturing energy. Conception. This is where things start to multiply and show in the natural. The frequency of conception invites us to bring our consciousness to our origin, the place where everything in creation begins. It helps us to remember the infinite potential and possibilities of this 
space and what we can manifest through our own focused awareness and intention. So this is where the, the, the um, particles begin to divide, right? And, and to grow and multiply and come into form. That's literally what's happening when it goes to the conception stage. So let's see what we have here. Monday's energy brings in the clearing, cleansing, and purification of the death card. This is the Scorpio Major Arcana, and I call it wiping the slate clean because it's coming in to purge, clear, cleanse, and purify, literally getting rid of all the old toxic stuff, wiping the slate clean, and giving you this new beginning. That little flower blooming is the seeds of renewal that are being sown by the Cosmic Garbage Man, a.k.a. the Death Card, allowing all of the death to the old way to take place as you begin with a fresh new beginning. And High Priestess is here to help with that. This is where we have to just be in a place of allowance and move with our guidance. This is going with the flow and letting the universe help to guide you. Your higher self will never put you in a bad position. Higher self is always trying to find a way to help you to move toward what you're trying to create. And that's why it's important to have uh, yourself focused in that energy of creation and letting go of anything that needs to be let go of. Now, we've got this Capricorn Devil card and the Wheel of Fortune. Hello. So, let me tell you, anybody that wants to talk about negative uh, outcomes on cards, you have to look at the surrounding cards in order to know if it's, a, you know, what the vibe is. Well, this card is the best card for change out of negative. So, First of all, if this is just representing your Capricorn sun, moon, or rising, no big deal. That's just showing you that that's right there and present for you. This can also mean your own self-sabotage when things start to shift and move and change in your favor. Sometimes we get in our heads too much. It can also be talking about not getting hooked into your addictions, whatever that may be, whether you're a TikTok addict, and I will certainly say I have had my rallies with that. Um, <laughs> and just because I have to post and then I get sucked in every time they, they know what they're doing over there and allowing yourself to not fall into a, a, a pattern that actually starts to diminish you, whether that's through a, a substance or cigarettes or food or people, whatever it is, too much of anything is not good. Well, this is going to break you out of any negative pattern happening here. This is the Wheel of Fortune, which closes out all karmic debts and karmic holes and allows you to have all red lights turn green, all doors open, including doors that you don't even know exist. They come out of the woodwork. And it catapults you further forward than you thought you would go initially. And, and it's really a wonderful energy. Now, the last thing I want to point out on this devil card is it can also be talking about a new hot seat relationship coming in or a person that exists in your life that's already the mixed steamy dreamy energy. So it's not all bad. Just know that nothing is all bad. All these elements that come in, the death card and the devil card, those used to be my two most feared cards. When I was 10 years old, they scared the bejesus out of me because I didn't know what I was hearing. They were talking to me and giving me the stories, right? And I didn't realize I was going to have to forecast the negative, uh, the death card, right? I thought, oh my God, that means somebody's dying. Well, I didn't know enough to know that that's not the literal translation. So just know that people are always in a place where they kind of get stuck in the fear and we can't do that because we're about to take off and launch. So get in higher self and you can go right through that energy without it even touching you in any negative way. Look at that. So the Tuesday's Wheel of Fortune and the Clearing Energy of Monday sets you up for this victory on Wednesday. Ten of Rods, which is a new, beautiful plethora of abundance coming in. The struggle is over. The burden is lifted. You are now having a beautiful, fresh start as you journey forward, whether you're working from home or you're changing jobs. That's an offer coming in, a divine offer of true, authentic assistance or someone praising you it can also be the job offer so love it whether you're working for yourself or someone else this is a really great combination now we have another 10 of rods look at that so we have been feeling that heavy energy haven't we absolutely 
here comes the ace of pentacles with that closure of that old stuff and that new platform which is what you see here this is the Easter lilies talking about the resurrection energy of abundance coming in. Aces are gifts from divine. And this is a gift of a new flow of income with the 10 of rods. So it can be in addition to the one you have or a new whole new one where you, where it's not so hard. You don't feel like you're struggling uphill both ways. You can lay the burden down and you do not have to schlep it around anymore. Now, Friday's energy. We have being ready to step into this new beautiful energy because you have all the experience here. You're not abandoning it. It can stand on its own. And you have this experience that you, you're taking it with you internally and as knowledge and the skill. Then you step into this new arena or new way forward. As you're ready to do that, the, prin the princess, the empress, <laughs> the empress energy is here. And this is the divine feminine of all creation. She is the goddess energy of everything that is, was, or will be. So she's here to give you some guidance and help you learn how to lay the new framework for your new thing and to grow because three is the energy of expansion and growth. So we love that. And look at that. Another ace of pentacles. You got two ten of rods, two aces of pentacles and the other card that is the bonus card. I got my elbows pulling all on the paper or on the, the paper, the cloth, <laughs> the, the tablecloth here. So this is like paperwork it's official documents now it says the name of the deck it is a bonus card it is the joker kind of energy um it is an additional card so there's two extra cards in this deck this one means something that's a, an official document or some paperwork that you need whether it's a job uh contract or a certificate or certification or a lease that you're signing or whatever the contract is or paperwork is it's tied to money because here it is right on top of the gift of the Ace of Pentacles a second time. So what a beautiful finale. We have really solid energy happening here for abundance coming through really strongly. Because the, the new beginning, releasing the struggle, clearing and cleansing and releasing the fear. All of that is here with a big fat jump forward with that Wheel of Fortune. It's also a Roman numeral 10. So you've got three 10s right here. How about them apples? Uh, we like you very much. I hope you all have a beautiful week. I send you lots of love and light and happiness and joy and divine healing to you all. I'll see you soon. Don't forget, we have other readings. Watch the dailies and the beautiful members only. If you want to cho join and support my channel through that energy down below, click that and you can check it out. It's not real expensive and I do give readings uh, for that membership that are exclusive to the members only. So I love you guys. Namaste. See you soon.